Hello again and a welcome. In today's video I'm going to be attempting a crotch vase out of you. Um, this is a lovely crotch here. It's about 12 inches long and it's about 8 inches at its widest point. So it should be an interesting turn. I was given it a few years ago and I can't for the life of me think by whom. So if you are watching this video please make yourself known and I shall give you a shout out. So without further ado let's get turning this U crotch vase. So I've got the piece mounted between centres, uh, between step drives and I am going to turn a tenon at this end here. Now the mega jaws from Axminster have a, a dovetail on the outside for a mortise but for a tenon it is a straight shouldered serrated inside to the jaw so that's what I'm aiming to do here. Then I can mount it in the chuck and start to shape and eventually hollow. Now I've changed to the shorter tool rest because as I'm getting closer, moving the, uh, the tool rest closer to the wood here, it's fouling against this part. So I'm, while I form the tenon, I'll just use this shorter rest. Right, I wasn't too sure how these cracks were going to play out, but they are fairly deep. So there's one here. I managed to get the, the tenons okay, that's nice and secure. And there's a fairly deep one here as well, and one there. So what I've decided to do is to give a good soaking of CA glue. So I'll come back when that's done. So I've used the uh, two and a quarter inch force and a bit and I've drilled down to 
uh, to that depth there which is just on seven inches and then I'll obviously hollow out to the thickness I want. We're going to get some voids in here when I hollow out I'm sure. Um, I've got the basic shape that I'm looking for and what I'll be doing now is going through all the cracks that are here that are still apparent and filling those with either just CA or CA and a coffee ground and when that's all dried up then I'll hollow out the middle and uh, we'll clean it up and the job will be done. He says. I've decided to uh, cease the hollowing operation for the moment. I've gone down to about here, still not uh, finished the th uh, wall thickness, but I've decided because the voids are obviously going to increase in size, so it's going to become more delicate to finish the outside. So I am now doing a, uh, an operation of a mixture of power sanding and hand sanding, a lot of hand sanding to be honest with you, uh, to get this uh, to a surface where I can put Danish oil on the first coat of Danish oil. Uh, that's how I'm going to finish this piece. So I'm in the middle of doing that now and you can see that this uh, viewpoint it has a nice form to it but obviously because of the nature of the piece as you look at it from different angles it has a completely different aspect to it and all this has to be <coughs> um, sanded away and removed and then I can put a finish on the outside and the outside will be finished. I'm going to bring the foot area um, a bit thinner, a, a bit narrower, so the foot will most probably come down to about this area here I would think. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Once I've done that I'll come back and then I'll start uh, and, and carry on with the hollowing. I have sanded this to 600. I'm going to put one coat of Danish oil on. Uh, it's the Hamshire Sheen Toy and Food Safe Danish oil and that will highlight any areas which I've missed that need a little bit more work on them and uh, <coughs> while that's drying I'll continue to hollow. I mean, you just really does have some beautiful figure in it. As we all know. As I explained, I'll most probably put five or six coats on this before I will call it done. Um, and that will take a few days. The thing is with this now because of the hand sanding there might be a couple of areas that just need a little bit more TLC. Um, some surface marks that I've missed maybe. Um, and being that it's oil is not a problem in re-sanding an area. It's not like having a wax on there. But um, it's only because the 
nature of the beast that I think oil is always good with this sort of a, a piece. Apart from feeding the wood, making it a bit more supple, it uh, gives a nice natural look. And it will shine up, the smooth areas will shine up quite nicely. I'm going to use the buffing wheel for that most probably. Yeah, it's looking quite good. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Some beautiful markings on it. Okay, let's put a little bit more on. Quite a bit of this will most probably go anyway, but uh, it, it doesn't matter. It just gives me an idea of what I might need to do. It doesn't look as if I'm going to have to do too much anyway. Okay, that'll do for now. I think the surface is quite good. I'll just leave that for a couple of minutes and then just wipe off the excess and then we'll get on to get back to hollowing. So I've got to a stage now where I've hollowed the inside. The wall thickness isn't even because obviously with the indents etc I'd have lost too much of this and I didn't want to, I wanted to keep the character so that's how it's going to stay. So what remains to do now is to sand the inside, do a, bit, a little bit of tidying up here where certain areas have got still got a few marks which I'll do and bring the this part down a bit narrower then I can sand and finish the piece and part him off. So I'm just putting on the second coat of Hampshire Sheen Danish oil. And what, I'm going to, what I will do is put at least another four or five coats on, both inside and out, obviously. And then uh, I'll part him off. I most probably will part it off, actually, when this, for about 20 minutes, we'll let, let this dry, and I'll keep feeding it as and how much it needs. And then I'll most probably just take it to with the buffing wheel with a bit of um, Karna crystalline wax on the buffing wheel. Okay, so we'll part him off now. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with how it looks. Well, here it is finished and it stands eight and a half inches tall by just under seven inches wide at its widest point. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. Looks rather good. Um, the base just have to get the nub off, which I'll sand that off and uh, apply another maybe four or five coats of um, Danish oil. And then when it's fully cured, then I must probably give it a buff up on the buffing wheel, as I said earlier on. Well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.